Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hello, hello, thanks for joining episode 5, and boy oh boy, get ready to jive. Because this week we take Baby's first airplane ride to a very special place in Just Brain, the Pacific Northwest. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. We got a first time ocean viewer here. This is Manzanita, Oregon. It's about two hours west of Portland, right on the coast, and my family and I have been coming here to this specific beach house for nearly 20 years. It's a nostalgic, cozy, unbelievably special place to me and my family, and to bring Carmi there was absolute magic. We did get mostly Oregon weather, with a few spots of sun, but that didn't matter, because when you've got this view from the couch, you don't feel guilty staying inside. Hello? Who's there? Can you dial the number? Boop, boop, boop. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. You don't yeah. respond to this number. Yeah. Like, uh, never answer that. Yuggy. Oh. Yuggy. Ew. 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 The beach house is lovingly called Spindrift, which is the name for the white foamy stuff you see wash up on beaches. It's dated and rustic and completely timeless. Nothing has changed about this place in all these decades, only the people that visit it. Our second and last leg of the trip was back to Northeast Portland. We trotted around Alberta, scarfed down my favorite chimichangas and discovered new spots too. We stayed at an adorable Airbnb called the Bike Shack, which was decked out with a disco ball and a very modern Portlandia vibe. The staircase was even decorated with various titles, which made it extra special for these literary lovers. It wouldn't be a trip back to Portland without some rides down memory lane. I visited my old high school where I got caught in a hailstorm. Oh, it's cold. My God. <laughs> passed through some old neighborhoods and of course climbed some family trees. This city holds a very specific and transformative place in my life that I cherish immensely. And it still holds some of my dearest loved ones that were fantastic to hug after these last several years of distance and uncertainty. All in all, a freaking fabulous trip. I'll do a future episode on travel tips with a one and a half year old. Overall, it went smooth, but we definitely have some lessons learned. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and keep up with me on Instagram.